My name is Dave Fiat, I'm a trainer for Bob. My years of experience have been over 40 years in the HVAC field. A lot of times questions come up when they look at this board and say, holy heck, that is very complicated and very cumbersome. When they first introduced all state boards in the late 80s, there was a basic checkout procedure back then. Do we have 240 volt to L1, L2? That'd be our primary sets here. Do we have 24 volt across to RNC? Well, today with the IBS-1, as sophisticated as it is, it's that simple. For our system to function, we need to have 240 volt across to L1, L2. We need to have 24 volt present between Y and C in our terminals. If we don't have 24 volt here on Y and C, it's not a board issue. So really all we're doing is verifying we have an incoming voltage. If I'm in heat mode, I need to have B and C and Y and C both have 24 volt. So there's nothing on this board that's really replaceable, nothing that can be interchanged. What makes these units a little bit unique is that we have a display up here on this one and we have a display on this one as well. Our display on this unit is going to give you head pressure, suction pressure, compressor speed. It's going to show you fall codes, outdoor ambience. All those sensors are processed through here. There are two black buttons on our board. We have a check button, force button. The check button, the one on the left, is how you scroll through 25 parameters. As we mentioned this morning, this one has the four thermistors involved and a pressure transducer. The IBS-2 actually has six thermistors and a pressure transducer. The IBS-2 can do subcolon and suprete directly from the board displayed itself. The IBS-1 requires strap-on thermometers attached to it. The differences between the, the uh, version 1 and version 2, the IBS-3 has a single board to do all the work. On the IBS-5 ton, there are three boards. We have the base power board, we have the bridge in the middle, and then we have our display board on top. The IDS-2 that came out now does all with one board. The boards are different between the 3 and 5 ton, but they're still one board. So if you have an issue, the whole board goes out. On our system over here in IDS-1, all my thermostat connections are made on the thermal block right here. On IDS-2, all the connections are made with wire nuts with the wires hanging off the board at this point. The board gives you, again, the flexibilities for ramping up the compressor, ramping down the compressor, all the smarts are on these boards in the system, which means basically my thermostat is just sending a signal, turn me on, turn me off. The air handler is just going along for the ride. There's no sensors. This is a senseless air handler on IBS-1. On IBS-2, we have an anti-cold function built into our unit. What the anti-cold function does, it's going to hold the air handler fan off until the cold gets warm, and then it brings the fan on. That was an option we added to IDS-1. With IDS-2, it's now built into the product.